Well, hello there. Congratulations for making it this far. We are now in graphing rational functions. So we already know how to get the asymptotes and the intercepts of a rational function. The next step is for us to make the table of values, plot the points, and sketch the graph. So your job now is very easy. Let's review. For us to get the vertical asymptote, we get the denominator and equate it to zero. And for us to graph the vertical asymptote, tingnan natin yung zero sa x-axis. So this is our x-axis, nandito si y-axis. Since x is zero, we are going to base it on the x-axis, nandito po si zero. We are going to draw a vertical line along the origin. Okay, so that is the vertical asymptote. To get a horizontal asymptote, we have to look for the degree of the numerator and the denominator. And since 1 has a degree of 0 and x has a degree of 1, 0 is less than 1, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So, yung horizontal asymptote natin is also along the origin. And for us to get the intercepts, okay, when I say x intercept, you rewrite f of x to y, set y to 0, solve for x, but unfortunately, walang na solve na x dito, so there is no x intercept. Next, to get a y intercept, you set x to 0, solve for y, and unfortunately, nung sinet mo si x is 0, naging undefined yung equation. So, we have no y intercept because you cannot plot 1 over 0. You can never find 1 over 0 in the Cartesian plane. So, walang x-intercept, walang y-intercept. The next step is to make our table of values. Okay? So, anong basihan ng table of values? How do we get the x-values? So, kunin natin yung x-values na malapit sa vertical asymptote. So, nandito ang ating vertical asymptote. We are going to get numbers from the left and uh, from the right of the asymptote. Para malaman natin yung behavior ng graph. So, kung ako, kung kukuha ako ng points dito sa left ng uh, vertical asymptote, I'm going to get negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and I'm going to get negative 0.5, So, ano ulit ang basihan ko dito? So, kumuha ako ng x values from the left of the vertical asymptote. So, if we are going to substitute negative 4 dito sa function, it will be negative 1 fourth. But in graphing, it is easier for us to plot the points if it is in decimal. Mas na-approximate natin kasi pag decimal. So we are going to convert this to decimal. So magiging negative 0.25. Same is true with the rest. We are going to substitute it in the function and convert it to decimal. If we are going to substitute negative 0.5 in the function, we have here negative Two. So now we are ready to plot the points. So if we are going to plot the points, negative 4 here and negative 0 0.25. So sa baba, kasi both are negative. So third quadrant. Next, negative 3 and negative 1 third. So we have here negative 3 and negative 0.33 negative 2 and negative 0 0.5 so it's the center oh. and then negative 1 and negative 1 at saka negative 0 0.5 at saka negative 2 dito si negative 0 0.5 we are going to plot it dito after plotting the points we are going to sketch the graph And the graph should look like that. I'm sorry, medyo hindi ko nakokontrol ang stylus, but the graph will look like that. And kung mapapansin nyo, the graph will get closer and closer to the vertical asymptote, but it will never touch the vertical asymptote. 
are we done? Well, actually, not yet. Kasi meron pa sa right ng vertical asymptote. So, let's get values, x values from the right of the vertical asymptote. So, 5, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, if we are going to substitute this, actually, same lang, palitan lang natin yung sign. Okay, and we are ready to plot the points. So, uh, 0 0.5 and then positive 2. A 1 and 1. 2 and a 0 0.5. 3 and 0 0.33. I shall have 4 and 0 0.25. And then we are going to sketch the graph. It will look like that. So that is the graph of the function f of x is equal to 1 over x. So diba madali lang? So let's have one more example. Okay, so same, kunin ng vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, and the intercept. So, ito po yung mga na-solve. So, if we are going to graph the vertical asymptote, may dalawa po tayong vertical asymptote dito. Si x is equal to 1. Nandito po siya banda. And si x is equal to negative 1. So, nandito si y equals 2. And the intercepts both located in the origin. So sure tayo na yung function dadaan siya sa point of origin. Next, we are going to make the table of values. Okay, so unahin natin tung area na to. Okay, we are going to get x values from the left of this vertical asymptote right here. So, kunin natin si negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1.5. Let's get negative 1.5. So, to get the y value, we have to substitute the x value in the formula. So, if we are going to evaluate the function at negative 4, so, kung ikakalculator ko lang to ang lalabas na sagot ay 2.133. So, that's what I'm going to write here. So, same din la ang gagawin ko. I'm going to evaluate a function at these values. So, if I'm going to substitute negative 2 to the function, it will yield 2.66. And then, kung ito naman, 3.66. Six. So, if I'm going to plot this point, nandito si negative 4, nasa taas si 2.33, so I'm going to mark this. I'm going to plot it here. And then negative 3, if I'm going to plot this point, negative 3, 2.6. So, alam na natin yung direction ng graph. So, we can actually sketch the graph here. Yan po. Pero we also have to get uh, the x values in this area. Diyan nagtangaan titua nga vertical asymptotes. Okay, so if I'm going to get a value from that area or from that region, uh, 0 0.5, 0, 0, and 0. negative 0 0.5. So, yung mga points na nandito sa gitna. Okay, so I'm, if I'm going to evaluate the function at 0 0.5, ito po ang sagot. So, if I'm going to plot these, so, alam na natin ang direction ng graph, it will be like that. So, yung graph, it goes on forever. Ah. The graph goes on forever, but it will not touch the vertical asymptote. Last, meron pa yung area na nandito sa left, I mean sa right ng vertical asymptote na ito. 
So I'm going to get values from here. I'm going to evaluate the function at these values. And the next step is to plot these points. After plotting the points, you sketch the graph. And that's the graph of the function f of x is equal to 2x squared over x squared minus 1. Actually, the process is easy. Saan ka mahihirapan sa pagkuha siguro ng y values. But later on, I'm going to make a video kung paano ka gagawa ng table of values using your calculator. Actually, nag-input lang ako sa calculator at lumabas ang mga values na to. So, please tune in sa next video ko about sa uh, kung paano gumawa ng table of values using the scientific calculator. So, I hope mas naintindihan nyo kung paano mag-graph ng rational function through this video.